Hello, it's Joe. So I've been watching booktube videos for about a year since January 2018 and I started making booktube videos in June of 2018 and ever since then I've wanted to film a video like this however I've not seen anyone else do it so I kind of thought it wasn't really needed but then I thought recently that I needed it when I first started booktube and so I would like to put it out and so here it is. So in this video today I'm going to talk you through a few common booktube terms that people who are just starting out in the community watching booktube videos may not know. So the first isn't actually a term, it's actually Goodreads and rating systems. So when I first started watching booktube videos this was something that really confused me. A lot of people were talking about a book and then giving it a rating out of five which I guess made sense but I thought it was a bit odd that everyone was doing it. So I looked into it and eventually found out that it all comes from an app called Goodreads. So Goodreads is essentially an app where you can keep track of all the books that you're reading. So you'll search for a book and then you'll mark it as currently reading when you're reading it and when you've read it you can give it a rating out of five. And that's essentially why everyone on booktube gives ratings out of five. Now Goodreads doesn't actually allow for 0.5 ratings or 0.25, but people just do that anyway because they can. So if you go on Goodreads and see that you can't actually give ratings between whole numbers, but people do it anyway on booktube videos, then that's just because people are rebels, basically. The next two terms kind of go together, so it's wrap-ups and TBRs. TBR stands for to be read, and it's a list of books that you would like to read in a certain amount of time. For example, you might have a March TBR or a, a seasonal TBR, like a summer TBR, or a TBR specific for a certain readathon that you're participating in. So basically, it's a list of books that you would like to read in a set amount of time. A wrap up is a video or part of a video where you talk about the books that you've read in a certain amount of time. So TBRs are books that you're going to read and wrap-ups are books that you've already read and want to talk about. The next term is ARC, A-R-C, and that stands for Advanced Reader Copy. So an advanced reader copy is a copy of a book that isn't actually published yet, that publishers send out ahead of time to certain people to get reviews and build a sort of hype for the book before it's released. So if you see people saying they've got an arc of a book, it means they've got a book that isn't actually published yet, but they have a physical physical copy of it that they can read. Although, saying that, it's not always a physical copy. You can get e-arcs, I believe, but, but I'm not too sure about that. Most of the arcs that I see are physical copies. The next term is reading vlogs, which is quite obvious. So it's essentially a vlog where people read. However, it's not like a 20 minute video of someone reading a book. It's just a normal vlog and it just so happens that the people are reading a book throughout it or several books and they will update the viewers on what they're reading, how far they are through a book, what they think of the book at the time, that kind of thing. So it's essentially a vlog where people update you on their reading. The next term is readathon. So a readathon is an event usually hosted by a person or a group of people and it usually has a theme. Uh, I'll use the Witchathon as an example. So Witchathon is hosted by Rhiannon from Crescent Moon Reads and there are several challenges in the Witchathon that those participating have to meet in order to complete the Witchathon. However, it's not like a requirement, like nothing's gonna happen to you if you don't complete all of the challenges. Uh, usually along with readathons, there is a group book, which is always one of the challenges that are set. But again, you don't have to meet all the challenges. It's just a way of the booktube community to come together and participate in something all at the same time. The next term is bookcon, which is really simple, but if you don't know, BookCon stands for Book Convention, and it's basically a convention that happens annually in New York. There are several book conventions throughout the world, but BookCon is the most famous and most talked about one. So when you hear people talking about BookCon, it will be about that one. And just as an aside, I went to BookCon last year, 
and I'm going again this year and it was amazing and I'm really looking forward to it so if you can attend a book convention near you or you can attend BookCon in New York then I would highly recommend doing so. The next term is YA which again might seem really obvious to those in the know but YA stands for Young Adult which is an age category of books. There are several age categories like middle grade, adult, YA, new adult etc but YA is the most popular one and is talked about the most on booktube. And the last term is own voices. This is one that I personally had to look up and do a bit of research on before I found out what it was. So when a book is own voices it means that a minority or marginalised group is represented in that book and that the book was written by someone who also represents that group. For example you might have a book with a queer character and the author of that book is also queer. That would be Own Voices. Or a black author writing a black character, Own Voices. Or a character with a disability written by an author who also has that disability. Those would be Own Voices. So that's it for all the terms I have to talk about. If anyone would like to elaborate on any of the terms that I talked about in this video, then please do so in the comments below. And if anyone has any questions about other terms that I may have missed out of this video, then ask those below and I'll try and answer them as best I can. I hope this video was helpful for some people at least. I know it's a bit niche, but if you did find this video helpful or you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you think you like more of my videos, then subscribe below. My social media links will be in the description, including my Goodreads link. If you want a link to Goodreads to see what it's like, then you can click that. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. Hope you're having an amazing day. Goodbye.